Hello, everyone, and I am here with uh, Trent Gavazzi, who is the CEO of a company called Care Evolution. And uh, Trent, thanks so much for being with us today. I understand there is some exciting news about a strategic partnership um, that we'd like to talk to you about a little bit. A press release has just come out saying that you have entered a strategic partnership with No2. I'd love to understand kind of why a strategic partnership, why No2? Yeah, well, thanks very much for having me, Peter. And uh, uh, we, we are very excited. And I think that this is uh, uh, something we've been looking for for quite some time. And it's, uh, you know, the, there's a lot of, uh, and continues to be more and more data available across the whole healthcare kind of ecosystem. Um, so more and more getting released, more and more data liquidity. Um, you know, we we have seen and uh, believe for quite some time that the need has been to, okay, great, I've got all this data. How do I get value out of it? How do I make it usable? How do I make it fit into my workflow or my, workflow or my specific use case? And uh, what we see with, you know, no to having the fantastic network uh, and co connectivity and depth and breadth of data, uh, we see ourselves as the folks that can help now refine that, uh, refine that data for all of the participants sending and receiving data across the no to network. So great that there's a lot of liquidity of data. Now, uh, wealth management, uh, if you will, of that data on the send and receive side of that network to make it as usable and bespoke as possible to all of the participants. And you know, our perspective is that this is gonna get solved from the middle in, not necessarily ar around the edges and that bringing the data and rich at scale uh, data tools that really ha have seen every form of healthcare data available at a massive scale as Care Evolution has, is how it will get solved. It sounds like there's a lot of synergies between Care Evolution and No2, not just from a standpoint of how their how their products or how their tech fits together to mm -hmm. enhance uh, what each company is trying to do. Are there additional synergies culturally and how you guys view data to begin with that make this strategic partnership more uh, uh, more profound? Yeah, uh, I, I do think very clearly. You know, Care Evolution has taken the position that we have no data use rights and. Uh, we want to make the data that you have, the digital data that you have, as usable as possible uh, for your needs, whether you're the patient, a health plan, a health system, uh, a, a life insurance underwriter, um, or uh, running a clinical trial. Uh, where we have really aligned nicely with No2 is they want to be the best network and have the richest, uh, uh, deepest network. and you know, it, it is us knowing clearly what who we want to be and no to knowing very clearly who they want to be yeah. and how we, we see, you know, disruption at scale together, you know, better together. Um, it, uh, uh, and it's, it's rare. There's folks, you know, in our space and in no to space that want to do it all. <clears throat> and, uh, um, we think this is a, a really unique sort of fourth multiplier of, um, bringing the two, uh, partnering the two technology and product capabilities together. One of the things you've said in the past that has always struck me is this idea of stateless um, and and uh, kind of the stateless exchange of information. Uh, uh, is, is that important? Was that an important kind of cultural synergy between the two companies? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it is. We, uh, you know, we have the ability and our, our, our lineage and history was persisting massive uh, lifetime patient record uh, stores, uh, databases, data lakes. Um, and now our perspective is sort of bring your own data warehouse or bring your own data lake in that um, our customers have been asking for that, uh, as well as the sensitivity around uh, data storage, PHI, et cetera. Our position on stateless, really the uh, from a, a risk profile perspective, from a, uh, who's storing what data, as well as you know, flexibility and speed, right? It is really a, uh, the fact that our APIs don't store any data uh, uh, really takes a lot of, of question and concern out of the equation and also makes the implementation uh, go that much faster. Yeah, makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. You know, No2's been around for 12, 14 years. You guys have been around for longer than that. Um, 
why now? Why what's special about this year and why now the partnership as opposed to a year ago or a couple of years in the future? Yeah, I, I think we're um uh, you know, we've just recently kind of re or introduced our suite of APIs into the market and um uh, we the rise in data liquidity um and the simple modular ability to insert our technology really where it's needed most versus this big, you know, sort of forklift, massive, yeah. you know, the way the industry's used to buying solutions. Um, you can start small in something meaningful and insert it in a place where it's addressing the problem right where it is. And as you said, the, you know, so Intel inside or making, um, making other products better can be in such a way that the uh, there's really nothing that the recipient or the user has to do other than um, continue to receive or request the data they have been. And that takes, you know, months, years out of the process and brings the solution to the industry, which is how I think these are, uh, where I think the, the way I think these things get solved is bringing data and bringing a um, data wealth management tools to the market together combination of both where you've got great coverage of patient populations and now you've got the ability to make it as usable uh, as it can be um, in the workflow or in a database or wherever that data is going to end up residing um, without burdening the industry or the recipients who are in many cases just trying to keep their businesses going much less having to you know figure out a uh, complex uh, data tools and, and data management. Yeah, it strikes me that the usability of data is one of the greatest potential innovators in healthcare, right? If we actually have the data in a form that we can use in a place where we can use it, boy, the things we could potentially do are um, innumerable um, from an innovative perspective. Um, yeah, as and well most, as other most um, of the sources that uh, we see uh, really just dump the data at the shores of the recipients at, at any yeah. scale. And yeah. the recipient is left to fend to themselves to build these massive Rube Goldberg, expensive, inefficient uh, processes to somehow get that data to the right person to make a decision. And mm -hmm. this just short circuits that, that, uh, that process to get it right to that user in as usable format as possible. And in doing so, making it easier at that point should reduce friction to the adoption of interoperability, which really should uh, enhance what we can do clinically. For sure. And remove costs, right? Yeah. Inefficiency, costs, missed opportunities. So we spoke a little bit about the value just kind of in our conversation so far. Do you think there'll be other values uh, to the market from the partnership and to each existing company, no two, and to, uh, and to Care Evolution? How do you see that playing out? Sure, sure. I, I do think that um, folks are going to see, um, one, how they can make better use of the data that is uh, that they've already come accustomed to uh, looking to know to to deliver. Um, so you should be on the know to network, right? If you want access to the, you know, kind of setting the bar for usable, usable data. Um, I also see opportunities for the edges to expand deeper into workflows and use cases inside of every side of the network where, okay, great. You're getting this, um, you know, a, a single, a single patient record. Maybe you want to persist that, um, for different purposes inside of your organization, a, a workflow that can be optimized a little deeper into patient care or home health or different types of data that um, haven't typically been uh, transmitted across the no two network, like um, uh, wearable data, um, yep. other, de other device data. So there's, this really brings a, um, I think what it, what is the industry is really looking for is taking the data conversation and capability to the next level. Um, and because most of the industry, they, they're the, they're, they're now getting a lot of the data that they've wanted, 
Now it's, you know, looking into that data and making better use. Um, and, you know, the no two uh, team certainly sees that, which is pretty exciting for us. Yeah, that's fantastic. How do you see, how would you find, you look two years from now, Trent, how would you define a successful strategic partnership with No2? Well, um, I think that we're, you know, that the No2 network has grown and the adoption of the uh, solution we're putting together has grown along with the expansion of the No2 network and that the No2 network participants have um, seen uh, exponential growth in the value that they're getting off of the no to network uh, and that they're asking for uh, more uses um, of data and capabilities powered by the the no to network data into their operations yeah that's or even good. optimizing wow. their ability to or shortening the the time and effort to get onto the no to network because more and more people are going to want to it's going to have a, um, it's going to have an effect that folks are going to want to be on the network and and you know I know both of us no two and, and the Care Evolution team would like folks to get on as quickly as possible and take advantage yep. of all capabilities yeah. and, and begin to realize that value as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. We've had a pretty broad range of discussion, and I really really do appreciate your time. Is there anything left unsaid that you want to share uh, with folks around the partnership, uh, Trent, uh, or anything we didn't get a chance to ask you? You know, I think that uh, um, it's been really exciting for us uh, to see an organization that um, has the uh, urgency and had a shared vision for um, how to bring the capability to market that um, really everybody's looking for, right? It's a uh, um, and, and make them available in the same place. I, I think back about um, some of the other products, things that uh, I've brought to market and particularly larger organizations, for instance, the data, the no two data makes it into the larger organization, the operators that desperately need it or, or any stakeholder internally is, you know, good luck getting it really. So how do you make it such that the, you know, organizations have, have either invested a ton and have a, a very large legacy infrastructure that makes it very difficult for them to navigate data in the right state and get it to the right person in a timely manner. Um, you know, th this struck me as a way to really, again, short circuit that process and whoever wants it in a clean, usable format, whether it's a data scientist um, in a large organization or a um, a small provider group on the no two network, it shouldn't be uh, exclusive, um, yeah. you know, that it should democratize um, these capabilities uh, and take cost out and, it, you know, improve efficiency at the same time. And if you think about the pressure um, of, you know, uh, staffing, and um, access and, you know, taking these unnecessary, you know, we don't see this as a technology problem. We see it as, as uh, uh, just the right minds coming together to solve, um, to, it won't allevi alleviate all of them, but any burden that can be taken off of um, those that devote their lives to bringing care to, to, to all of us,